Brute Force. A brute force attack is a password cracking technique where an attacker systematically tries all possible combinations of characters until the correct password is found. This method doesn't rely on any shortcuts or logic about the password structure, making it a simple but powerful approach. Brute force attacks can target any form of password protected system, and their effectiveness depends on the password's complexity and length. Short or simple passwords can be cracked relatively quickly, but long, complex passwords exponentially increase the time required. Due to its exhaustive nature, brute force is often slower compared to other cracks hacking techniques like dictionary attacks. However, with advancements in computing power and automated tools, brute force attacks can be accelerated using techniques like distributed computing or leveraging powerful hardware, such as GPUs. Dictionary attack. A dictionary attack uses a pre-compiled list of common passwords or words from a dictionary to attempt login. Instead of trying every possible combination like in a brute force attack, a dictionary attack takes advantage of users who choose weak or commonly used passwords, such as password 123 or let me in. The attack works by systematically comparing the hashed or plain text password to entries in the dictionary, drastically speeding up the process when targeting weak passwords. While this method is more efficient than brute force for simple passwords, it becomes ineffective against strong, complex passwords. Dictionary attacks are popular because many users tend to pick predictable passwords, making this approach faster and more likely to succeed than more exhaustive techniques. Rainbow Table A rainbow table attack uses pre-computed tables of hash values and their corresponding plain text password. Instead of generating hashes for every attempt in real time, the attacker relies on the table, which drastically speeds up the process of reversing password hashes. Rainbow tables are particularly effective against systems where passwords are stored in hashed form without additional protection like salting, adding random data to each password before hashing. Since hashing is a one-way function, the rainbow table allows attackers to match stored hash values to their original passwords by comparing them against this pre computed data. However, salted passwords greatly reduce the effectiveness of rainbow tables, as each unique salt changes the hash value significantly, making it much harder to pre-compute useful tables. Phishing Phishing is a social engineering technique where attackers trick users into divulging their passwords or other sensitive information by impersonating trusted entities. Typically, the attacker sends fraudulent emails, text messages, or links to fake websites designed to look like legitimate platforms, e.g. banks, email services. When the user enters their password or credentials into the fake site, the attacker captures the information. Unlike other password cracking methods, phishing does not rely on breaking encryption or guessing passwords, but instead manipulates the user's trust. It's highly effective because it exploits it's human error, but users can protect themselves by being cautious of unsolicited communications and using two-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security. Keylogging a keylogger is a tool that records every keystroke made by a user on their computer or device. Keylogging can be achieved through software, malware, or hardware, a physical device attached to the keyboard. The attacker installs the keylogger on the victim's system, either remotely or physically, and waits for them to type in sensitive information. Once captured, the attacker can retrieve the logged data and use it to gain unauthorized access to accounts. This method bypasses the need for password cracking, since the attacker directly obtains the password as its type. Keylogging is particularly dangerous if undetected, as it provides attackers with unencrypted, real time access to sensitive information. Credential stuffing. Credential stuffing is a technique that leverages previously stolen username password pairs from one service to attempt logins on other platforms. Many users reuse the same passwords across multiple services, so attackers take advantage of this by using credentials from a data breach on one site to try and gain access to other accounts where the same password might be used. Automated tools are often employed to quickly test thousands of username password combinations across different platforms. Credential stuffing is particularly effective if users don't employ unique, strong passwords for each account. To protect against this, it's critical to use unique passwords for every service and enable two-factor authentication wherever possible.